Hi, Delmi. Oh, good. Okay. So I have more people. Hi, Raphael. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Good. I'm a little bit worried for the message. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I, that's, that's very strange. And, and do you have in your, um, like in your platform, can you see your progress? Me? Yeah. If I can, if I can see, yes. Uh, I, when, when I, uh, always that I uh, log in, I can see my progress. And what, what, it, what is your progress according to your platform? 4.6. And what is the percentage that you have? Mm, well, I don't know. Check the percentage. But, sorry? Check the percentage. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, sorry, my um, headphones were doing that. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I understand. It happened. Okay. How are you? Good, good. Thanks. I'm glad you're good. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so, Raphael, just a check. Um, maybe... Maybe there. Um, uh, um, could you could you explain us today how to check the the persons, please? Because I don't know where I'm going to see it. I, 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 I was checking. Uh huh. I was checking in the platform and like it say progress, and it says past eighty percent. It total 50, 54. Person. So you have 54? Yes. Okay. Um, you know what? The, the problem, Raphael, is that my platform is a little different from yours because my platform oh, okay. is a teacher platform. Yeah. But I mean, what we can do, Delmi, do you know how to share your, your screen? Yeah. Yes, I know. Uh, Could you wait. maybe share your screen and you can show Raphael there? Sure. On how... oh, can you see my screen now? Yeah, we can see your screen. So this is the platform. This is the course. And in this menu, you can see course, discussion, and progress. So I chose progress, and I can see it here. Can you see? Yes, it is 54. Your? Yes, I guess it's. OK. Yes, so what is this? Oh. Sorry. Um, so let me let, keep, keep it there, Delmi. Let me just um, keep it there so I can, I, I can explain a little bit. Um, so you will notice that there are two colors in her, in her um, chart, right? So we yeah. have like, the, like the, the bright red color, and then we have like a dark red color. Yeah. So the bright red colors are the ones, the exercises, and those are worth 30% uh, of the grade, okay? okay? So if you do these exercises here, the ones that are in red, they're going to be worth 30% of your grade. Then we have the midterm. The midterm is um, the midterm is another color. It's a dark red. Yeah. And that is another 30%. So 30% of her grade is coming from the midterm. Okay. 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 And if you notice her in her, if you notice um in her in her last bar, there is there are two there are two uh, colors, yeah. right? In the last bar. And so the bottom part is what she got from the exercises, okay. right? And she got 30% out of, 30% out of, could you move it to the bottom? Yeah, that one. Okay, so it says she got 24% out of a possible 30%. Okay. Okay. And then can you move it a little bit up? Okay. Yeah, to the other one? Okay. Yeah, there you go. And then she got 30% okay. out of a possible 30% in from the midterm. Okay. So in between those two, she got 30 plus uh, 24 is 54. So, so far she has 54%. Now, 40% of her grade is going to come from the final exam. When she completes the final exam, exactly right there, where she's pointing, it will be, um, I think it's a gray bar. She's going to get a gray bar. And that 40% is now going to be added to the final grade. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, I think. Yeah. Okay. And the only reason why she doesn't have 30% in the, the, 
the exercise, I'm guessing, is because she still has one more to do, which is the homework number five. Okay. Right? So that part is missing, and that's why it's not complete. Okay. But once she completes that, that grade is going to go up. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm going to check it. Okay. All right, perfect. So that, that's just a little bit of information actually for everybody. It's not just for Raphael, you know, but it will be for everybody. And thank you very much, Delmi, for yeah, sharing. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. So guys, um, welcome. Welcome to today's class. Um, is it rainy where you are right now? Here in Cincinnati, it's starting to rain. It's starting yeah. to rain. Okay. Here it's raining. Yeah, it's really where, where do you live, Alejandra? Alejandra, where, where do you live? Um, I live in the Pango, San Salvador. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and Josue, also, you you said that it's it's raining where you are. Yes, teacher. Where where do you live? I live in Ciudadanos de la Libertad. Oh, okay, okay. And it's, it's raining very hard over there? Yes, it's hard. Okay, okay. Um, Maricela, uh, I, I see that we can't, um, you, you're having problems with your, your microphone, um, or better said with your audio. Uh, what you can try is uh, maybe leaving the classroom and coming back in. Sometimes that helps, okay? Um, or if that doesn't work, uh, what you can try is uh, maybe like um, uh, putting in like um, the, the micro, like the, uh, what's it called, the earphones. Sometimes the earphones may be having a little bit of problems. So you can like uh, take them out and put them back in. Um, maybe that can, can work. And let me know if it, if it helps. Okay, Maricela. Okay, guys. Um, well, um, good to see you guys. Oh, perfect. Okay, good, Maricela. You can hear us now. Yay. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. So, um, the, so yesterday, uh, I asked you guys to do something, um, which was to see the news reports that were from section 4.6, I think it was, right? 4.6? If I'm not mistaken, that was what I asked you to do. So um, what I want you to do right now, is I want you to um, take out your notes that you did from, from that exercise. So remember, I asked you to write down notes about um, things that were happening um, in that, like in the past, well, that were they, yeah, they were happening and things that happened, right? Using the simple press, uh, the simple past. And then I'm gonna put you into pairs and I want you to tell each other the story using your notes and see if your notes, if you have similar ideas, similar, um, if you have the same um, stories basically, right? Or if maybe there's a little bit of variation, okay? So right now, is that clear for everybody? You understand what you're going to be doing? Yes, teacher. Anybody have questions? I can help you right now, so let me know. If you have questions, let me know right now. No? You sure? Okay, all right, in that case, I'm gonna put you right now into, into your pairs and I want you to share with the partner what you have, okay? Um, so let's see, I'm gonna put you into the breakout rooms. Um, It's okay, Maricela, it's okay. We understand sometimes, um, you know, you can't, 
um, like, you know, sometimes we can't be uh, in the class for whatever reasons or things that happen. Sometimes because our internet's not working very well because of the weather, you know, it happens to everybody, so don't worry about it. Okay, so right now I'm going to be assigning your breakout room and let me just change here the time. I'll give you about five minutes for that. Okay, all right. So here we go. Go ahead and join your group. Luis, do you have any problems joining? Mr. Enrique? Uh, I don't know who, who was what who was uh, talking about. Uh, she don't make the homework because he don't uh, he, he didn't stay at class yesterday. But uh, if I I um I have idea like uh, you have a, a a make a point for. 4.6, right? It's yes. about it's about three histories in different places, yeah, um, countries. Right? Yeah. Yes, you did it the yesterday I I oh, can be the Hi guys, you asked for help? Hi, yeah, teacher. teacher. Hi. Yeah, uh, we are not sure about what we have to do. Sorry, because I was looking for my headphones, so I didn't hear very well. Oh, okay, so no worries. Can, can you explain us, please? Sure, sure, okay. Uh, did you do the homework? The what? The homework. Uh, the homework about the, the watch the video and do the... the no, I couldn't do that because I was busy with some things of the university. Oh. I was in, in test today. Okay, because what we're doing is actually based on what we had for the homework. Okay, oh, so okay. Um, what, we, what I need you to do is simply to, um, uh, to tell your, your partner about uh, the, the information from the homework using the present progressive or the present continuous and the simple past, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Josue, did you do it? No, teacher, I'm sorry. I, I don't see the, the video. Okay, so what you can do right now this time, how about if you use this time to watch the video? Um, you could like, if one of you can um, share the video, then you can both watch it together and then go ahead and, and and retell the story. Okay. Okay. The, the video was in four. Uh, four point six. Four point six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will watch it now. Perfect. Okay. okay I'll see you in a you. bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the the video is in the platform, right? Yeah, the video is in the platform. I was right. <laughs> the the really? thing to her. So um after after that she she lay down um the little girl to other bed and she went to sleep. The next day when she walked up 
um, she realized that the little girl wasn't there on the bed. So, and she didn't know how the little girl was escaped because had escaped, sorry, <laughs> because um, she had, she had left the door locked. So the next day, next day, the little girl um, came again at 12 a.m. So um, and that happened for three times, I think, if I remember well. Um, the thing that was the 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 messes uh, went to the the church to ask for more information uh, about the, the this little girl that was walking on the street. Um, while she was on the on the in the street, um, she said the name of the she said the name of the girl. Uh, that that had come to her house and they they said they said to her that, that the name of this girl was um Juanita and when they when they told her this she was scared because um in fact she was uh dead yeah. And so that, that is your story. No, it's an example. No. Ah, it's an example. Uh -huh. and, and then what, what, what is your story? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have it. <laughs> um. And a bracelet broke out of nowhere. Um, I was printing a document and that happened out of nowhere and of nowhere and and I looked at like someone pulled it and that's what it broke but the time I decide no to give more importance okay and another times also I have I have had a sleep paralysis and I was scared a lot <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, that is uh is truth is we went on a date, okay? Ah okay. That's good, right? Uh, <laughs> I tried. That, that, that is that is Janice, that is the real story or I invented story. <laughs> mm, the real story. A <laughs> real story, ah, okay. But I, but I try to so making the sentence. <laughs> okay. Um, well, um, I remember something so funny that I happened in the, so many, so many years ago, when we, when I, when I was younger, in, in use, in use, in I usually had a meeting with friends. I remember uh, one day um, we are in twenties in, in our twenties. I maybe maybe the thief wasn't a bad person. <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe. And as maybe. A sentences I wrote, the police officers were chasing a car thief when they drove into a river and also while the police officers were having problems in the river, the thief came back to help them. I think it could be possible that the local police um, uh, take all the church against the thief. That's very good, tell me. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> are you good these sentences? Can you check it, please? Uh, um, the first one. Uh, just I think you put uh you put um, snake. I think that's just a spell. That's just a typo. 
I, I wasn't sure about squeeze. I heard a squeeze, but I wasn't sure how to write that one. Yeah, that's correct. That one is correct. Um, and the number two? Um, yeah. Um, Just no. What, what I was what I was saying is on that number one, you put uh, snaked with a D. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, sorry. Yes, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's a typo though. I, I know. I'm pretty sure it was just a typo. Yeah. Okay. 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 Number two. Okay. Uh, felt is the past of feel. Okay. Uh, Felt, um, while the girls were visiting a friend, they they felt asleep. Because in and remember, sorry, you at the bottom there you put there while the girls were visiting a friend, they felt asleep at the bottom, lower, a little bit lower. In some okay. yeah, there. And so felt is the past of the of uh, Feel, and you have to put fall. The passive fall yeah. is felt. Felt. And the uh, correct way to say fall, fall. Oh, I think it's like that. Yeah, that's the present, and the passive F E L L. In that way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I have to rope, they fell asleep. Yeah, they fell asleep, exactly. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Good. Yeah. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, um, the other one is okay. Story number three looks fine. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to be closing the, uh, the, the breakout rooms very quickly, uh, very soon. So just that wrap it up, just finish, and I will see you in the, in the main room soon. Okay? Okay, see you there. Okay. So Maricela, did you understand the stories? Yes, I understand. Okay. Yes, oh. this audio is in the platform. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. The last, mm -hmm. the last part I heard about police uh, catching some thief uh, in a vehicle and uh, in California. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah, the, the last story I couldn't understand very well, but this about the second, I remember that it was two teenagers that were disappeared and they was like in a ship uh, to Australia, but I, I don't know what happened and they get lost and they appear like in a in a shore of the river, so they had, uh, they had. <laughs> Patita, pa que te quiero. <laughs> <laughs> but we were eating, we were drinking, and we were sharing with all the people that is that that in the wedding party. That's so funny. I remember always that that thing. I don't know. Yeah, I use I use the past continuum and, and, and the, uh, yeah. Yeah.
All right, so everybody's here back again. Um, so what you guys, uh, did you have enough time to practice? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay. Good. Questions that you guys have between the present, sorry, the past, uh, continuous and the simple past? No? No. No. No, teach. Okay. Oh. All right. Good. Okay, so in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at a new structure, okay? So we finished looking at that. We've done. So you understand the difference between the, the past continuous and the simple past. Now we're going to be talking about, we're going to be contrasting the simple past with something different, which is going to be the past perfect. So we're going to be talking about the past perfect, and I'm going to be using the whiteboard. Okay, let me know when you can see the whiteboard. Do you see it? Yes, we see it. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm going to be um, writing down, okay, so my heading is going to be So now we're going to be comparing sim simple past versus past perfect. Okay, so that's the title here. Simple past versus the past perfect. Okay. So no. um, again, with this, I'm going the best way to explain it is using a timeline uh, because it makes you, you understand things where things fit better. Okay, so here is my timeline. I'm gonna get as straight as possible. And here's my present. And you guys know that everything that is happening over in this side is going to be the past, right? Everything here is past. Okay, everything over here. And over here is my line, my thin line of the present. Okay, so right there, we can find the present. Okay, now, so and everything like I said, everything over here is going to be the past. What happens is that now we're going to have two actions, just like, like before in the other timeline, we're gonna have two actions. Um, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna have something that happens over here. Oh, no. Let me erase that, I want to have a different color. There we go. So something happens over here, okay? I'm just putting this as an example. It could happen over here too, it doesn't matter. And then something happens over here, okay? So we have two, um, we have two events that obviously are in chronological order. Right. Okay, so this is event number one, this is event number two. Okay, now this is similar to what we saw, we saw yesterday and the day before that, uh, except that 
in this one, there is no action that continues. Okay, in the, in the one that we saw yesterday, this action, this first action would continue, right? So, um, So normally um, in the other action over here, it would go like this, right? Okay, so this is what, we, this part right here would be the present, uh, sorry, the past um, continuous, right? But this structure here, it's not the past continuous. It's the past perfect. So this one's very different, okay? So in this case, this actually is just stops right there, okay? In other words, it's complete. This action is finished. It does not continue for a period of time. It's something that completely finished. And this one too, this action is completely finished in the past. So we basically, we have two completed actions in the past. The difference is that this action finished before this action began, okay? So this one has nothing to do with this one. This one was complete when this one happened. It's different from the one we saw yesterday where um, maybe the action was interrupted. In this case, this action was not interrupted because it was complete. Is that clear for everybody? Class, let me know. Is that is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, teacher, sorry. Uh, I don't know if I hear you correctly. Mm -hmm. Um, in the number one, mm -hmm. something happened here completely finished in the past. Yeah. 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 And the number two, uh -huh. something happened here completely finished in the past two. Exactly, yes. Oh, That's okay. Exactly the, what I'm talking about, yeah. So basically yeah. we have two actions. Independent action. Uh -huh. Two completed actions. Okay. They happen at different times. Okay? Teacher, teacher I have a question. Yeah. Um, for example, in the past, perfect the 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 action like um had a a long time but in the past so in the, in the past continuous or the past the past perfect uh, no in the past perfect because of the past continue continue to the present or not um, it starts in the past and finished in the past. Both actions start in the past and finish in the past. Okay, both actions are finished. None of okay. those two actions continues for him. Okay, they're okay, okay. Okay. Okay? They could, yeah. been, they could have been longer actions. They could have mm -hmm. been. Uh, it's possible that this action took a little bit of time. But what's important is that this action is finished before this action, okay? It's completed. Okay. So whether this action took, you know, a few seconds, minutes, a few, a few hours, or even a few minutes, um, the important thing is that it's finished before this action. Okay. Can I answer your question? Yeah. Okay, right. thank you. You're welcome. Now, um, over here, what happens is that um, this is, like I said, this action is finished before this action. Chronologically speaking, this is the first action, right? Now, what happens is that this action over here, normally this is what, when you're telling, for example, a story, this action would be in, That's right. Um, okay. 
So this section over here would be in the simple past. Okay. All right, so normally whatever happens here, those are like the main actions of the story. Those are like the main events of the story. And all of those main events are gonna happen in the simple past, okay? But we have other actions that happen before the main event. And those actions would be in the past perfect. Okay, so the past perfect is uh, used to emphasize that this is the first action, the first of the two actions. Okay, is that clear how you use it? Yes. We always uh, start with past perfect. Do you mean in the sentence? Yes. No, not necessarily. Um, in the sentence, you can put, you can talk about this action first, and then you can talk about this action. But what is important is the past perfect lets us know that this was the first action. So you don't have to necessarily put the first, the first action at the beginning of the sentence because the past perfect already indicates that this is the first action. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, how do you uh, create the the past perfect? Well, the past perfect is created. The structure is the following. I'm gonna write it down here. The structure would be the subject. Let me change the color. We have a subject plus had. And when I say had, it means independent of what the subject is. Doesn't matter if it's I or you or he or she or it or we, it's always gonna be had, okay? And in the negative form, it's gonna be had, okay? And then we use the past participle. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yes. And of course, then if you want, you can add a compliment, right? Yeah. Of course, it's not necessary, but you know, if you want to, you know, if it makes sense, you would add the compliment. Okay. Now, um, so this is the structure. Um, let me just put this in a box so it's clear. Okay, so that's the structure we're going to be using. So. I'll give you some examples so that you understand what I'm talking about because at this moment you're like, okay, well, you know, to try and get it, but you know, how? Give me an example here. So I'm gonna give you an example. Imagine that yesterday, let's imagine that we're not quarantined, okay? <laughs> let's imagine everything is normal and we're not in a pandemic, right? Let's let's imagine, okay? Let's imagine that I went to the um, to the the cinema, okay. Let's imagine. Uh, yesterday, so I'm going to say, yesterday I went to the cinema. Let's see. After no, but I said. Uh, Okay, sorry, yesterday I went to the cinema. 
but I didn't um, get, or if I didn't buy, let's see, I didn't buy popcorn because um, I taken had me. eaten a big dinner. Okay. I actually want to make it even smaller. So there we go. Okay. So yesterday went to the cinema, but I didn't buy popcorn because I had eaten a big dinner. Okay. In this sentence, you will notice that we have a main event. What is the main event? Went to the cinema. Exactly. Going to the cinema is the main event, right? So because it's in the main event, you will notice that it whoops. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm gonna change this back to black. All right. Okay. Uh let's see. Good. So, uh, because it's um, because this is the main event, uh, go to the cinema is going to be in the simple past. Also, another main event of the story is didn't buy popcorn. Got it? Yeah. So you see, this is in the simple past. Okay. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah, you're getting this. This is the main event of the story, right? Going to the cinema is the main event. So I'm at the cinema. I don't buy pop popcorn at the cinema. This is the main event. That's why it's in the simple past. However, if you notice, something happened before the main event. What was the thing that happened? That I had eaten a big dinner. That eat a big dinner is the event that happened before. And that's why I have to over here, had eaten a big dinner. So notice over here, I'm using the structure that I showed you here. The subject is I, I'm using had as the auxiliary, past participle, eaten, and the complement would be a big dinner. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, um, this way, like this would, how would you say this in Spanish? Tell me this, how would you say that? Había comido. The whole sentence, give me the whole sentence in Spanish. Sure. Okay, ayer fui al cine, pero no compré palomita porque había tenido, había comido una gran cena, por decirlo. Exactly, that's exactly it, very good. Yeah, exactly, so this action, obviously, you ate a big dinner and eating a big dinner is going to take a while, right? It's going to take a, it's going to be a long activity, right? You don't eat a big dinner in a few seconds. You eat a big dinner in, a, in, in a, you know, probably, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour. So it's going to be a long activity. But what's important is that this activity that happened before is finished. It's completed. I don't continue eating my big dinner before, or sorry, at the same time that I'm at the cinema, right? First, I eat the big dinner, probably I eat the big dinner at home, and then I go to the cinema. So this action is finished, it's complete. And then this action happens. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes, but I... I need more examples, teacher. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to do right now. Um, I'm going to actually, well, I'm going to erase this. Well, I'll put it over here. Okay. It's because of space. I need space here. Um, okay. Okay. Now I'm going, so notice that the past participle is at the end of the sentence. Now I'll just put it at the beginning. 
So you can see that it is possible to put it at the beginning. Okay. Um, Sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm I lost. Sorry. Um, Giving up. What shall we say? We are already. Yeah. Giving up. What is your result? Okay. So here I have another sentence. She had already given up when she received the good news. Okay. So this this is telling me that. There are two events that happened in the past, okay? And the main event is, what's the main event? Um, she, she received the good mm -hmm. news. Exactly. Receiving the good news is the main event. Yeah. So that happens second, right? Chronologically, that happens second. It's, if you are not sure which one is the chronological order, Think about the one that is closest in time to you, the closest to the present, okay? So, in the closest to the present would be receiving the good news, right? So that action, because it's the main event, would be in the simple past, okay? Now, there's also another event that happened before that. What was the other event that happened? She had already given up. Good. All right, so had given up okay so notice that this action happened first so first she gave up then she received the good news does that make sense yeah so first she gives up that's the first event it's finished it's completed she gives up and she says okay that's it like they say in Spanish, tiro la toalla, right? Yeah. And then, boom, she receives the good news. Okay. So this action, or uh, the, the first action is emphasized using the past perfect. And there's something else that helps us to identify that that's the first action. And it's this word here. The word already is like another word that emphasizes that that is the first action. Okay? So in Spanish, you would say, what would this say in Spanish? Ella se había dado por vencida cuando recibió la buena noticia. Good. Yeah. Good. That's true. But you're missing the word already. How would you say that in Spanish? Como ella ya se había dado por vencida cuando ella recibió las noticias. Algo así. Exactly. Something like that. Okay. Ella ya se había dado por vencida. Right? So that that already is a ya. It tells us that, you know, it emphasizes that that was the first action. Yeah. Okay? Sounds yeah. good? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more. Oh, by the way, if you notice in this one, I put the, um, the past perfect at the beginning of the sentence, and in this one I put it at the end. So you can see that it really doesn't matter in what order you can put it uh, as long, because what's important is the past perfect tells us that this is the first action. So it really doesn't matter the order it happens. Okay? Okay. 
All right, I'm going to give you one more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they hadn't seen my message, so they didn't know that I wasn't going to arrive. Okay, they hadn't seen my message, so they didn't know that I was going to arrive. All right, so over here, I have the main event. What's the main event? What's the main event? Going to arrive? Nope. Send the message? Nope. Remember the main event? What what is the structure of the main event? Going to arrive. What the structure is? What's the Simple, structure? But they didn't know. Not perfect. They hadn't seen my message. Exactly. Well, no, 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 not hadn't seen my The no. event is going to be in the simple past, right? This is the main event. So which one is in the simple? They didn't past? know. They didn't know. They didn't know. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That is the main event. So they didn't know. They didn't know in that moment. In that moment that I'm talking about, they didn't know. Okay. Now. But before that moment that they didn't know, okay, so imagine that we're talking about, um, you know, okay, think, think, think about um, going to the cinema, you say to your friends, okay, um, let's meet at seven o'clock. And it's 730. And you're still not there. In that moment, that 730, your friends don't know that you're not going to arrive. That's the main event. But before 7.30, what had happened? They hadn't seen the message? Good, they hadn't seen my message. Okay, I had already sent the message, but they hadn't seen it. Yeah? So first I sent the message and they didn't see it. Then they didn't know about it. Does that make sense? Class? Okay, I'm uh, sorry. I don't know if I'm only, only um, I'm a little bit confused because for example, I, I had already understood that the main um, event, it was going to be in present perfect. Uh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm mistaken. And I and I think that, for example, if I say something like they hadn't seen my message, um, I think. Well, I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to answer that question right away. No, the main event is not in the past perfect. The main event is in the simple past. I'm gonna put that over here. Okay. Okay. So all main events are going to be told in the simple past. Okay, does that does that help? So let's imagine yeah. that it, that we're, we're I'm we're meeting 
were like the idea yeah, was to meet with mm -hmm. my friends at the cinema at seven o'clock. And at seven o'clock, they're waiting. It's 7.30, they continue waiting. They don't know, at that time, they don't know that I'm not going to arrive. They don't know that. But before that main event, I had sent them a message and they hadn't seen the message. Okay? So before seven o'clock, I sent a message, but they didn't see the message. Does that make sense? How would you say this in Spanish? Ellos no vieron mi mensaje, entonces ellos no supieron que yo no estaba trayéndolos. No yo iba a llegar. I wasn't going to arrive. Okay. We're um, getting there. We're close. We're close. Let's start again. Ellos. Ellos no sabían que yo iba, que yo no iba a llegar. No, no. Ellos no sabían, no, that's not. That's not ah, the first, you said the first. No. Ellos, ellos no habían visto mi mensaje, entonces no. ellos no sabían que yo no iba a llegar. Exactly. Ellos no habían okay. visto mi mensaje. Ellos no habían visto mi mensaje. Yo les mandé el mensaje y ellos no lo vieron en ese momento que yo los mandé, que yo lo mandé. Right? So they hadn't seen my message. And then the main event is we go to the cinema at seven o'clock. I'm supposed to be there, but they don't know it. They don't know that I'm going to be there. So again, so ellos no habían visto mi mensaje. Así es que. Continue. Ellos no sabían que yo. No iba a llegar. Exactly. Very mm -hmm. good. Entonces ellos no sabían que yo no iba a llegar. Mm -hmm. Ok. Does that make okay. sense? Ellos okay. no habían visto mi mensaje. So no habían visto. That's the past perfect. Right? Yes. Mi mensaje, así es que ellos no sabían que yo no iba a poder, yo no iba a llegar, okay? So, just keep something in mind that this is always going to be the first, the first um, event, and keep in mind that had or hadn't is going to be independent of the subject. So it could be I hadn't, they hadn't, it hadn't. It doesn't matter. And so this is the negative. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Do we understand? Yes, we understand. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. All right, guys. We're going to stop the talk today uh, there because, uh, well, we've come to the end of our class today. Imagine so quickly, and. Um, that should help you to be able to complete the second part of um, section number four, okay? Um, so we're gonna continue working on that tomorrow, okay? So I just introduced it today, and then tomorrow we're gonna be practicing a little bit um, in class. We're gonna be doing some activities um, with other classmates so that we can, um, we are able to practice using the, the past perfect. Okay, guys, well, that will be all for today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening or night, better said, and that you sleep very nicely because uh, it's going to be a nice weather to sleep. It's going to be very uh, cool, and um, with the rain, it will relax you. <laughs> okay? We'll sure. You too. Okay. We'll be a good night. Thank you. Good yes. night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.